Hi guys, it's Inam Kafour here with the Samsung Galaxy S4 and we're going to take a look at smart scroll in this video. First of all, how to switch it on. Easiest way you can get to it, go to your notifications area, go to your tabs and there's an option there for smart scroll. If you tap on it once, you get a little eye in the corner of that icon, just symbolizing that the phone will scroll according to your eyes tracking on the screen. If you tap it again, notice the little eye changes to a smartphone. What that essentially means is the phone will scroll according to how it's tilted forwards or backwards. Now, if you don't even have this icon here, another way in which you can get to it is menu, settings, go to your My Device tab, scroll all the way down to the bottom where you'll have a smart screen option. Tap on that. Once that loads, you've got an option there for smart scroll. Make sure that slider is set to green, except the little description thing there. Once smart scroll is actually on, you can tap into it to check out the further options that it has. You can see along the top, you've got a scroll bar section. Currently selected is tilting of the head, so it doesn't actually track your eyeballs. It just tracks your head movements according to when it scrolls up or down. Second option there is tilting of the device, so it stops using your head as a tracker, and it then scrolls according to whether you have the device tilted backwards for going down or forwards for going up. Underneath that, you've got a general section under which you have speed. And if we tap into that, you've got an option along the top there for slider going from slow to fast. So if you set it to fast and then tilt the device backwards, it should, once it stabilizes up and is currently straight, there we go, goes down. And then once we have it stable going up again, and if we change that to say a relatively slow speed and then tilt it going down, see how slow that goes. And then stop. And then we'll go back up again just to show you the difference in speed there we'll give it leave it somewhere in the middle there we'll go back underneath speed you've got a visual feedback display option which is currently set to on this gives you the little green circular icon in the middle of the screen when it recognizes that the scroll feature has actually been enabled and is ready to use so you can tilt forwards or backwards or move your head in whichever direction you want in order for it to scroll. So let's check it out. In reality, the smart scroll feature, I could only get it to work with the standard internet browser on this device. I couldn't get it to work with any other application whatsoever. And when it does actually work, it does involve significant head movement. So here we go. We've got the internet browser up. We've got the BBC News website. It's recognized my face or allegedly my eyes. So I'm going to tilt down. There we go. It goes down, tilt back up. And sometimes it doesn't do it, so you align your face right in front of the device, go back up, there you go. And if you go back down again, again, it hasn't done it, so what we'll do, realign it back up, and it will go back down. And if we go back up again, as you can see, it's a little bit hit and miss, so I align it back up again, and it goes back up. This time, I'm not going to move my head, I'm just going to move my eyes. There you go, I'm looking at the bottom of the device, still nothing. It's already at the top, but if I look back down again, still nothing. So it's on head tilt rather than your eyes as such. But you can set the device so that it doesn't look for your head tilting or your eyes, but it reacts to the smartphone tilting. So we've set it on tilt for the device. So if I now, there you go, tilt it backwards, scrolls down. If I tilt it forwards, it goes back up again. And if we do the same again, tilt it backwards, it'll go back down, and tilt it forwards, it'll go back up. But is this a gimmick more than anything else? As I would tend to still like to use my finger more than trying to get my head in the right position in front of the device to try and get it to go up and down. It would be faster, quicker, just for me to use my finger. So as you saw there, the smart scroll feature doesn't actually track your eyeballs, it just tracks head movement. But is this more of a gimmick more than anything else? I can't see myself using this at all, to be honest. And as I say, it's easier and faster just to use your finger to scroll through the screen. But let me know in the comment section down below whether or not you guys would actually use this feature. For myself, the lack of support from other applications is definitely a downer. It would have been brilliant if you could use this in the Playbooks application or your emails or word processing documents. But at the moment, the lack of support is definitely a downer for me. Any other comments or questions you guys have got, hit them up in the comment section down below below there gives a thumbs up if you like this video and you like what you saw if you haven't already done so hit subscribe it's also down there as well doesn't cost you a penny and you can also check out some of our forthcoming videos thanks for watching have an awesome day and we'll see you next time